some small block Chevy heads together. Uh, they're just your regular old GM heads. Um, casting numbers 882 on them. So they're kind of the smog era. They're not so great. Um, but, you know, I have them and they'll go together. So uh, just doing a quick video on putting valve stem seals on. And so what I have for the intake are these. I believe they call, they're called a positive stop valve stem seal. But here's the part number. They're from Felpro. Um, there's your... Then uh, on the exhaust, I have just these umbrellas. Now, when I took these apart, I was burning a lot of oil. I had only umbrella seals on. It was a little bit because of the valve stem seals. It was a little bit because of the piston rings. So, um, yeah, anyways, putting new valve stem seals on and put this back together. But basically my method, uh, when I bought the, this kit here, it came with this little straw essentially is what it is and that way you can just slide this right over the top and you use that so that you don't mark up the inside of your valve stem seal here as you're pressing it down over top of the valve then i just use a socket that fits right over top of there uh, in my case it's a 3 8 3 8 inch drive socket and then basically i'll pound this on now Here's your, you get this uh, lock on here, and you can see how far overlaps that is. Now, as I pound this on, this is going to expand out, and it might look like I'm overstretching it, but it's really not. It's designed to do, be able to do this. That's just, it's designed to be able to take a, bit, a wide variety or wide range of um, seats here. Uh, it's kind of spread out quite a bit, but it's pounded on. You can hear it as I'm, wish I had somebody to video me right now, but as I'm pounding it on, I don't have to hit it hard or anything and it just goes right on and you can hear it as it, it hits it's touching and then it you know you can hear it when you're seated and that's it like it's just right there and then you can move the valve freely i'll show that here in a sec okay so what i mean by you can move the valve is that you can move it in and you see the valve sticking out there press it back and the seal stays put, it does not move. The umbrella type seal that'll go on the valve and that'll move up and down with the valve, but this positive stop, as the valve moves, it stays put. And that's kind of a better seal uh, so you don't get oil down on top of your intake valve. Now on the exhaust valve, that gets a little bit hotter and that's fine, it'll typically just burn it off. So not a worry there, but on the intake side, it's a little bit cooler. Um, a little bit better for oil consumption there. Now on the exhaust side, um, using these umbrella seals, I'm just using this, so on this exhaust kit, it didn't come with this cover. I'm just reusing it, just trying to at least. I like to do this on the bench so I don't lose it, but should be able to just press this over. Might be a two-handed ordeal if I don't push the valve out. Okay, so. I got sat down on the bench here now. And basically, I push it down all the way. Okay, so I pushed that rest of the way up and I got this on. So my umbrella seal was seated all the way down, like this. Then as soon as it pushes down that first time, see that valve goes down, but then it comes back up and it pulls the seal with it. That's what this umbrella type seal does. And it works, honestly, pretty good. You can see you're still not getting the, up to the top of that valve stem seat right there. Unless you try to look at it real hard, but you're not going to have a problem with these umbrella seals, uh, especially on the exhaust. From the factory, a lot of uh, these GM heads, they even had these on. So these are just a slightly newer design that people have started to use, but a lot of engines have these umbrella seals all the way across. But I went, I went with these, set of eight of these Felpros, a set of these, um, let's see, the intake ones here, the exhaust ones here. The part numbers are right next to each other, so that's, you know, they're designed to work together. Um, I'm going to get the rest of these seals on, then I'm going to start putting my springs on. All right, so got all my seals on, all the way down, and I'm going to put my springs on 
and I've already washed up all my springs and I still have it all separated out. I just, you can get those fancy trays or I just took a couple two by fours and drilled some holes in it. I put the valve upside down here. Um, now I just have, have it marked out. Let's put this on. So I'll start with that. Then I got this valve spring compressor. I'm gonna compress it real quick. Okay, so now you see I have it compressed. Um, so now it's tough, a little bit tougher. You gotta try to, with this style of valve spring compressor, especially it's moves, you know, cause it's got a spring on it. Um, you see there's two rings on that, um, on every single valve. So one gets that, that uh, oil seal and one gets the retainers for the keepers. Um, so I'm gonna grab a new oil seal. And these oil seals came with, but basically you can get it to that point pretty easy by hand. And then I just use a pick here and I'm not using the pointed edge, I'm using the back side of this. I'm trying to. And I push it down into that bottom groove. Now I need to pull my Bring compressor up and push it down like that. Like, that way I get it seated in this groove all the way around here. That way I can get it seated in that groove all the way around it. All right, you can see there it's, it's seated in that groove all the way around. Now I'm gonna take my keepers, put them on. And just these little guys. So just one thing to be careful about is as you release this spring, make sure that you don't have that uh, this cap here come and hit that oil ring because um, you'll just pull it out of the off of there and then yeah well it isn't gonna do any good or you're gonna break it or it's gonna not last very long so just make sure that you keep this top centered on the valve and then have it come up and grab the keepers and then you get the valve on so now it's just a matter of doing the other seven Alrighty, so I got my cylinder head assembled now. Um, basically, it's ready to go back into the back on the engine for me. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit behind schedule, of course, how all projects go, but I got they're actually both sitting here ready to run. Um, yeah, hopefully, I uh, don't have any problems, but I don't suspect that I will because I got all new valve stem seals. I got to lap the valves and. It's not like we're going to be running a crazy cam in this, so just using the stock springs. So, um, yeah, just a simple little rebuild on these, and it should be should be a, should be a good runner for me.